Who is the axis of resistance and why should you care? I'm sure you've heard that phrase a lot lately. The axis of resistance. They call themselves the axis of resistance. The axis of the resistance. Axis of resistance. Axis of resistance. But what exactly is the axis of resistance and why does it matter? The axis of resistance is a coalition of armed groups across West Asia, united by one shared goal to push back against U.S. and Israeli hegemony in the region. This alliance includes heavyweights like Iran, Hamas, Hezbollah, Yemen's Ansar Allah, also known as the Houthis, and groups in Iraq and Syria. Recently, the spotlight has been on this alliance, especially during Israel's brutal genocide on Gaza. In the past few weeks, tensions have reached a boiling point. Israel assassinated Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh in Iran and Hezbollah commander Fouad Shakur in Lebanon. Since October 7th, different members of the Axis have attacked a number of U.S. bases in the region, and Ansar Allah even shut down shipping across the entire Red Sea. These actions are a direct response to Israeli provocations and the ongoing assault on Gaza. So what are they fighting for? Let's break it down. The Axis of Resistance isn't about sectarian lines. Both Shia and Sunni groups are united under this banner. What unites them is a shared resistance to U.S. and Israeli dominance in the region. Let's take a closer look at two key players, Hezbollah and Ansar Allah in Yemen. Hezbollah, known as the Party of God, is a Lebanese Shiite group that formed in the 1980s to resist Israel's occupation of southern Lebanon. They've been a thorn in Israel's side ever since driving Israeli forces out in 2000 and scoring a major victory during the 2006 war. Now Hezbollah is back on the front lines, launching nearly daily attacks that have thousands of Israelis fleeing from the north. Ansar Allah, commonly called the Houthis, are an armed group that controls some of Yemen, including the capital, Sana. They emerged in the 1990s, but made headlines in 2014 when they overthrew Yemen's Saudi-backed government. Despite facing a brutal war led by Saudi Arabia and backed by the US, they have stood their ground, resisting one of the most powerful military coalitions in the world. So why does all this matter? Iran, Hezbollah, and Ansar Allah don't want a regional war, but Israel seems determined to keep pushing them into one. In the US, well, they're letting it happen by supporting and arming Israel's genocide in Gaza. 